I could try to say something funny here, but it's probably better to leave such things to a professional. So how about a warm welcome for Nazareth? Thank you. Thank you. You know, I am from the Middle East, but ever since September 11, I feel so Mexican. <laughs> you know, it was funny flying here to do this show because I live in California, almost missed my connection flight coming here because I'm from the Middle East and I cannot run through the airport anymore. <laughs> I don't know if people feel the need to tackle me or something. You know, like when you guys all go on vacation, you check the weather channel. We check the Homeland Security colors. <laughs> Honey, it's orange, it's too warm for us to leave. <laughs> but I am from California, and yes, my governor can beat your governor anytime. <laughs> yes. I, actually, I was born in Nazareth, Israel, and it's a family tradition to name you after the city. I feel sorry for my brother, Waikiki. <laughs> my other brother, Albuquerque. <laughs> and my poor sister, Buffalo. Location, location, location. You know, like when you guys have kids, you look at baby name books, we look at MapQuest. <laughs> but actually, you know, I, I moved here 25 years ago and the first exposure to this country is someone invited me to a small zoo. I paid $20 to see an elephant, a camel, a bull, and a donkey. <laughs> In my country, that's a car dealership. <laughs> I'm serious, but I love this country. I, this is the greatest place on earth, people. This is the only place in the world where you can take French toast, English muffin, Canadian bacon, and call it the all-American breakfast. <laughs> right? See, we have a lot of food in this country. We are, there's, you know, around the world, there's two billion people suffer from malnutrition. 90% of them has appeared on the cover of Cosmopolitan and Seventeen magazine. <laughs> Can someone tell me why every other magazine in our nation have a woman that looks like a stick? <laughs> Dressed like my insurance policy? Hardly covers anything? <laughs> Is that the image we want to give our daughters? Ladies, please be happy with the way you look. You're beautiful just the way you are. Don't fall... Because she's always wearing a rubber band, right? <laughs> always wearing a rubber band. Hey, Barbie, where did you get your outfit? Office Depot. <laughs> You know, we are, you know, I found out the United States is we are a little overweight. It's not our fault, it's our parents' fault. I don't know you, but I can bet your mom called you after something with high sugar intake. You know, come here, honey bun. Come here, sweetie. Your mom never went, come here, tofu. Hey, alfalfa sprout, go brush your hair. We're late for school. And we have junk food. We have good junk food. We have food that people from our other nations, if they ate it, they'll be dead by now. <laughs> but we don't because we have drug companies backing us up. <laughs> yes, uh, like, you know what? Uh, I think we should have like a joint venture between uh, drug companies and fast food companies. We'll have products like Lepitor fries, <laughs> Zantac chalupa, <laughs> insulin fried apple pie. <laughs> but we need, we need junk food to have peace in this country. You know why poor countries are always fighting? They don't have a Burger King. <laughs> Wherever there's a Burger King, there is peace. Because after eating a double Whopper, you don't want to fight. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to lay down right here. You, you, I'm not angry anymore. That's what we need in Iraq, a Burger King. <laughs> Shiite, Sunnite, have it your way.